Go ahead, mate. John, you, uh, you back Jupiter and then top score for him. And how hard is it out there? And how hard does a 175 run deficit look? Uh, yeah, it was it was tough certainly to begin with. Um, I think it's one of those wickets where um, getting used to the surface takes a little bit longer. Um, you know, with that new ball, uh, Rabada and Philander are obviously two world-class bowlers, and uh, they bowled a fantastic spell today and um, made it very hard work for us. Um, um, and yeah, uh, 175 deficit is disappointing, but I don't think there's uh, too many demons within this wicket. And I thought that, that this evening's session. To get them four down uh, was a great effort, and um, we're st still very much in the test match. Do you think wicket still is decent? Fifteen wickets in the day, I suppose. Yeah, I, I think obviously it's um, a new ball wicket. Um, if I think if second innings, if we can get through that new ball period, relatively unscathed, um, you know, I back ourselves to to chase down um, a target of uh, hopefully less than three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Just guys, bring us over. A view from the England camp about, about what happened there at the end of the game. There was obviously plenty of chat as, as everyone left the field and where you were when it happened, what you saw of it. Yeah, I was at, I was at leg slip, I think. Um, so I wasn't expecting two slow balls from him, I have to be honest. Um, first one, fair enough. Um, didn't quite get it right. He's, he's bowled that a lot for us and it's, it's worked pretty well. But um, yeah, I wasn't expecting the second one, if I'm totally honest. I just missed the stumps. Um, so yeah, I think it was a, a fair enough delivery. John, because Rudolf Spare appears initially to signal no ball for the second one as well. Was that that signal then withdrawn, or do you not think these do you know the sequence works? Yeah, I saw him put his arm out, and uh, I think he tucked it in quite quickly as well. Um, and uh, yeah, having spoken to spoken to Gaff, um, yeah, I think they they certainly withdrew that that second one, um, and having it, yeah, just missed the stumps. So it wasn't. No, no, I don't think so. Um, considering it's saying <coughs> that it's a, a new ball wicket, um, most of England's wickets didn't come from a new ball. So can you kind of square that circle? Yeah, I think um, that spell of new ball bowling from those two was as good as it, it as it, good as it gets. Really, I think they they complement each other nicely. Philander doesn't give you a thing. Makes you work hard for every single run, and, and Rabada is obviously very aggressive in the way he comes, goes about it. And there was a couple of snorters there. Sibley got a, an absolute snorter of, of a delivery, and um, it was very uncomfortable for myself and, and Joe Root before that that lunch that lunch period that lunch break. Sorry, um, and I felt once the the new ball wore off and um, the first and second change bowlers come on, it was uh, a bit easier. Um, runs were a bit more free flowing. Um, and I didn't feel it as in as much trouble as I did with uh, whilst that shine was on the new ball. So I think uh, if we're honest as a batting unit, during that, once the new ball wore off, there was some, some soft dismissals. Um, uh, and I think it's just a case of you know just trying to, to get those big scores and build partnerships. Uh, I certainly think there's runs to be had once that new ball wears off. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so given that um it seems you followed a very patient approach to your innings, and it certainly looked like the longer you were in, the easier it got. Do you, do you feel like <coughs> you maybe had the wrong approach in Essex innings? Because everything just seemed to be very frenetic and very rushed, and, and they seemed to be really aggressive, you know, just trying to get as many runs before they get out sort of thing. Uh, I think we bowl very well. Um, like I said before, I think with that new ball, it, it is tricky, certainly starting. Um, and yeah, maybe they come out uh, with that positive mindset. Uh, they had a lead, obviously, uh, and they wanted to try and push on as quickly as they can and, and make that lead as big as possible. Uh, and we were able to capitalise on, again, uh, probably some, some loose shots, and uh, we find ourselves in a, a very interesting position. At the rate that things are going, there's every chance that by tomorrow night, this time, the test might be over. Do you think the state of the wicket is acceptable and good enough for this cricket? If the test could be over in three days, um, I don't think there was too many demons in that in the wicket. I think there are a few cracks opening up um, from slightly wider. Sort of, I found it more difficult batting uh, from the pavilion end. A bit more bounce. There was a, a crack, sort of fifth, sixth stump line, 
um, that was a bit invariable. Um, but no, I don't think um, the pitch was dangerous or anything like that by any means. Um, I just think there was some, some soft dismissals today and um, you know, hopefully we can, we can turn that round in our, in our second innings and, like I say, restrict South Africa to, to not too much of a lead. Okay, then we're done. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Dennis. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you.